is awesome. This is like fried rice to the max. Take a bite and see what this is all about. Here we go. Well, good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. How are we all doing? I hope you're hungry. I sure am. <laughs> you are? <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, I hope you, our subscribers, are too. In today's video, we're going to be taking you on a little market tour. Actually, we're going to be showing you three different markets, but we're going to start out with Mercado San Martin, which is relatively new here. It wasn't here last time we visited. It's really exciting. I mean, we've never, we've never gone to these markets before, so this no. is going to be an entirely new experience. The thing about us in Lima is that there's so many great restaurants that we've become familiar with over the years. We yes. kinda, we're repeaters, Repeat. big time repeaters, but sure. this is a chance. Yeah. So we're trying not to get run over here. This is a chance for us to expand our horizons yes. and to, uh, to hit up some cool markets. And um, yeah, the thing is, I guess we're just going to order whatever we, we feel like. That's also kind of cool. Too. Yeah. So basically this market, it's it's kind of like an open air market. Like it is covered, but you basically have a whole bunch of different little booths within yep. the market where you can have both oh, Peruvian Rosie. dishes and international dishes. <laughs> Sorry, little I got there. Yeah. Cool um, so yeah, we're going to take you there. Lots of cool street art along the way. Yeah. So we'll see you shortly. See you soon. Is our first lunch outing together. Huh? Yes. A really cool market like this. You've got the stalls on both sides, tables in the middle, also an upper, a, a second level where you can dine as well. And just so much variety. Everything under the sun here. We've got classic Peruvian food. I've seen sushi. I've seen Mexican food. I've seen Venezuelan food. I've seen burgers here as well. And some places specializing in seafood, other places specializing in, uh, for instance, what I'm going to be having from Lucumo, I'm having Amazon food from the Peruvian Amazon. So uh, it's chaufa amazonica. So basically Amazon fried rice. It's going to have plantain and a whole bunch of other ingredients. I couldn't be more stoked. I'm so hungry. We've been going for walks every morning to build up this appetite in the afternoon and um, I'm ready to chow down big time. than ready to present today's meal. What a fantastic looking plate of rice. This is, just looks beautiful, so beautifully presented. You have a, a sort of a perimeter of the plantain. On top, you've got the egg. And then if I put the egg apart here, look, you've got chicken. Um, oh, this is a, this is a tacina. It's a special kind of pork from the yeah, Amazon. Yeah, it's like and dried. Chicken. I'm seeing uh, carrots, I'm seeing other vegetables, so this is awesome. This is like fried rice to the max. So I'm going to take my first bite. I want to get a little bit of everything. So make sure I get a little of the plantain here. These little plastic forks and knives are not the easiest to use. 
And here is the rice. Oh. A1. That is awesome. It's such an interesting mix of flavors. Like, you have the sweetness of the plantain, okay? Then you have the savory rice, and then the texture of the egg, which is nice and soft. It all just kind of mixes really, really well together, and you get a diversity of flavors. So, this is not the typical fried rice I'm used to, but I'm loving it. I absolutely love it. Oh, and, you like and my food just arrived. Just in time. All right, guys, very excited for this. My food is finally here, and I got the ceviche carretidero. Carretidero is like a street food cart. So I guess this is the style of ceviche you would get if you ordered it as street food. It comes with whatever this is. I don't know if this is like calamari, fried it, clams. It sure looks like it, yeah. It's something. That's delicious. We have the sweet potato. That is an absolute must. Giant grains of the, the white corn, the red onions, and then you have the tiger's milk, which is the juice of the ceviche, because ceviche is fish cured in lime juice. And then you just get the different ingredients mixing together and you get almost like this cold soup that you drink at the very end of your meal. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. We'll be sharing. <laughs> the fish is so tender. Yeah. So, so tender, my gosh. And it's like limey and zesty and a little bit spicy from the red ahi pepper. Yeah. Mm. So good. And to go along with everything, we got chicha morada, which is a juice made from purple corn. Really sweet, super refreshing, very Peruvian. So, cheers, friends. Cheers. All right, guys, we just finished that wonderful meal. How did you enjoy that? That was a feast of feasts. Yes. I am in official rotunding mode. Yeah. I mean, I basically finished that mountain of rice. It was so good. I mean, it's exactly what I was craving. It's funny because like when I went into when I first went into the into the food stall area, I didn't know what I was going to get. Mm -hmm. And then I saw that on the menu. I'm like, that's the one. Amazonian. Food. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I missed my time in the Kitos from many years ago. Yeah, so in terms of the prices, both of our dishes were just a little over $7, not quite eight. And yeah. like Sam mentioned, the size, like the portions were abundant. It was a lot of food, very filling. Yeah, the chicha morada was just oh. over a dollar. Yeah. Local prices, we're talking like 20, 28 to what, 30 something soles? Mine was 30 something soles. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Low 30s. And then the, the chicha morada was five soles. Exchange yeah. rate at the moment is about 380. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, tremendous value. I mean, we we ate for, we ate and drank for like what, 15 bucks or something. Yeah, and yeah, both we're, of us. We're going home like, with you know, stomach sticking out. So that's yeah. a good sign. And that is the first of many markets we'll be showing you. There's two more in this neighborhood that we want to highlight. So awesome, man. see you shortly with that. Can't wait. Alrighty, guys, another hey. day, another market. Oh man, I am ready to eat today. I have not <laughs> had a morsel of food since yesterday's lunch, so got a nomad. One meal a day. I ate so much yesterday, I decided, you know what? I feel like I'm getting a, you know, a little bit of a belly here in Peru. Uh -huh. and I don't want it to happen someday. Only once, once a day. Alrighty, so. so today we are visiting our second market here in Miraflores. Yeah. It is called Mercado San Ramon. Yeah. It opened on what used to be the Pizza Street or Pizza oh, Alley yeah. before. I remember that actually. Yeah. Yeah. Never had a pizza there. No, but, but I remember we walked by it. <laughs> yeah, and apparently this market has 25 different booths where once Ooh. again you can get food from all over the world. Fantastic. So yeah, pretty excited to eat and we'll bring you along. I think I'm gonna go international today to be Are honest. You? Sure am. <laughs> awesome.
Okay guys, so the food is here and today we both went to International. I went for some classic American diner food. Sam's gone for Japanese. But I just wanted to introduce you to this burger. It is called the Rocker Burger. And it's two patties smushed together, fried on the grill, lots of cheese. It has tomatoes, lettuce. It looks so good. But now the real test. Let's take a bite and see what this is all about. It rocks. Oh my. <laughs> Does it roll? Mm, the bun is so good. <laughs> is it? Wow. Fluffy brioche bun, beautifully toasted. The burger is just so juicy. And then the cheddar cheese, it's like a really good burger. Reminds me a bit of like Shake Shack, In N Out, that oh, kind wow. of vibe. Oh wow, it's in that category. This is a gourmet burger. Yeah, and I just got the burger on its own, but if you want to, you can get it as a combo with fries. And then for my drink, I went for the Sacred Valley drink. And this is a smoothie. It does have a beautiful flower, lovely presentation. And it has blueberries, strawberries, blackberries. It has yogurt. Um, and this looks like a little lemongrass straw. Is that possible? Could be. Let's see. I feel like this is the healthy component to the meal. Equally delicious, but it like balances out the greasy fried food and then I'm still getting some fruits in here So yeah, this is really nice super cool market. We're gonna go back in later Film it a bit more in detail because there's like really cool art in the ceilings and it's just super colorful It has a beautiful outdoor patio great views of the former pizza street So yeah, lovely spot if you're in the neighborhood of Miraflores. This is a really cool market to check out and now we are moving on to Samuel's Sushi Ceviche. Yes. All right. So I am ordering the very special and uniquely Peruvian acevichado maki. So basically this falls under the genre of uh, Nikkei cuisine. Japanese cuisine is very popular in Peru. In fact, you can find almost as many Nikkei restaurants as you can traditional ones, mm -hmm. at least in the area we're staying. And this is a, a, a Peruvian twist on sushi. So it has what appears to be like a unique kind of mayo and uh, sesame sauce. And then we also have here avocado, breaded shrimp, tuna. Yeah, really excited for this. I'm so hungry and uh, lots of stuff going on in this, in this maki roll. Mm. Wowzers, that is a level 10. Guys, what makes this so interesting there's like a variety of textures in the bite. You've got the crispiness and crunchiness of the breaded shrimp. Then you also have the creaminess of the sauce. So rich and tasty. Then you have another layer of fish, the avocado. Oh my gosh, that is good. I wish they had this in more locations around the world because <laughs> this is something I'd eat in Canada if it was available. Yeah, Peruvian Japanese fusion is so good. So good. And yeah, this is the only kind I got, so that's the end of the taste review right there. Amazing food. Yeah. And unlike yesterday, not uh, not gut busting. So we'll have room to to finish this video today for dinner. We're gonna come back and have dinner. At anyways, a different market. A different market. But anyways, we're moving on to the price point. So I'm gonna give you the current exchange right now, about uh, 10 US dollars is about 38 soles. Um, so in terms of what we had, your drink I think came to 12 soles, you said. Then your burger was 20 soles and my maki was roughly 30 soles. So in terms of price point, about $7 for my maki, just a bit more. Your burger was slightly over 5 US dollars and the drink roughly 3. So again, a pretty affordable meal. I mean, we're talking like $15, $16 to, to come and eat here in total. Gourmet food, nice setting, lots of options in terms of where you want to sit down and dine. You can be outside, you can be inside, you can be upstairs, downstairs. So yeah, really cool market. And um, yeah, we've just been eating so well around Miraflores. We can't wait to, to see what we have tonight.
morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Third day Good of day. market hopping, I would yeah. say, here in the neighborhood of Miraflores. Yesterday, we ate so much that we couldn't go out to another market for dinner. We just decided to postpone. Yeah, so what happened was your mom ended up getting some delicious ceviche from Wong. Yes. And also some treats. And there's a little wine involved. So, oh. yeah, we just didn't make it for dinner because <laughs> we were stuffing our faces in our apartment. But um, yeah, we're back out for round three. It's a new day. I'm hungry. <laughs> and today we are taking you to Mercado 28, which means nice. market number 28. This one is also in the neighborhood of Miraflores, just yeah. like the previous two. But in a different direction though. Different direction. Yeah. So we're getting to walk around the neighborhood a bit. Exactly. Different routes each time. Mm -hmm. Same hungry uh, disposition, I suppose. <laughs> we've always got an appetite, yeah, we've always you got know an what? appetite and um, we can't wait to see what we find there, right? Yeah, so we'll see you shortly with more food. Sounds good. third market and I have some opinions and thoughts on what it's like to go to these these little markets these kind of like food court style of, of dining areas mm -hmm. so what's really impressive to me is that every market we visited kind of has its own distinct flair and uniqueness about it this one in particular has a bit more of a party environment you've got the bar in the middle you've got kind of that lively music going on now the other thing I've liked about all of these markets so far is that the quality of the food has been excellent the portions have been big and the most versatile part about it is if you're coming with a group of friends and you're all meeting you've got so much variety to choose from everyone gets what they want and if they're still hungry afterwards they go out and order more <laughs> or grab a dessert or have an extra drink so yeah I've been really impressed by the these, these style of markets here in Lima like I said on previous visits we didn't go to any of these so this is a new experience and something I'd recommend Wow, that's great. <laughs> okay guys, so I got one of the classic Peruvian dishes done four different ways. This is called gausa and it is made with a special yellow potato that you only get in Peru. And it's typically served with avocado. It also has ají, which is a nice yellow spice. And basically I've gotten it with uh, chicken with cilantro with raw fish, you know how much ceviche is king here. This one has shrimp and this one has mushrooms. And they also have like a little bit of avocado and mayonnaise and it just looks delicious. So we're gonna dive in in one second, but first let's have a sip of my beverage. I got a Derva, Derva Luisa lemonade. So this is a lemongrass lemonade, nice and green. Ooh, and very refreshing. This tastes like the tropics. This is so good, wow. <laughs> Here we have the four gausitas. We're gonna start out with the chicken with cilantro. So good. Mm. I'm obsessed with cilantro. I know some people hate it. They say it tastes like dish detergent, but I'm one of those people that just loves the flavor. I cannot get enough of cilantro, so I love the chicken one. Mm. Now this next one is with fish. It looks like tuna, cured tuna. Then we have the shrimpies. 
as Samuel would say, check that out. Mm. And that is one of the best ones. And then one vegetarian option here with Zima Shones. Here we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. So cheers. Cheers. A great meal. And now we're going to show you Samuel's monster sandwich, which looks yeah. so good. All right, Sammy boy, you went for a taste of Argentina. I sure did. So this is a gourmet sandwich here. Look at this wonderful bread. Lift the hood. Lift the hood. So yeah, th here you can see that they have the sliced up steak. We've got onions. We've got copious amounts of cheese. And we have a little bit of greens in there for good measure. Arugula. But, yeah, it's basically a, a, a meat a meat a thon, right? It's a, it's a steak fest of a sandwich. So yeah, I'm just gonna close the hood. Dig in. I should also mention, I got some Argentine wine to go with it. Sure did, from um, Mendoza. Yeah, I mean, Peru is not a wine drinking country like Argentina. It's more expensive to buy it here, definitely, but um, I felt like it, so I ordered myself some wine. And this is uh, one of our favorite ones, Finca Las Moras, a nice table wine. Mm. And I think it's the Bernarda grape. It is, yeah. Yeah, it was in the Malbec. All right, let's dig in. Nice hearty sandwich, tender meat, cheese really complements it, and a nice uh, nice bread too. Just what I want for today, like I don't know, I'm just craving something hearty, something filling. This hits the spot and then some. So dessert time, we ordered one dessert to share and this one is called Suspiro a la Limeña, so it means the sigh of Lima. What a poetic, what a romantic <laughs> dessert here yeah. in Peru. We've actually tried this before and it is made with manjar blanco, which is kind of like a creamy, milky caramel, not quite dulce de leche, but along that same vein. And on top it has meringue and the meringue has a little bit of a purple color because it has port wine. Oh, so fancy, huh? This was Samuel's pick today yep. for I saw dessert. It. I saw it. We had to get it. Let's see. Here we go. Mm. Is it good? Oh my. <laughs> wow. Mm. That is a sugar high. And that is like a spoonful mm. of creamy sugar <laughs> in the mouth. I haven't had this in such a long time. I had kind of forgotten yeah. how sweet it is. I am glad. Are we going to have to go for a second walk? Today? to have my lemonade on hand to balance it out but it is very tasty it's one of those classic dishes classic desserts that yeah. you have to try when you come to lima bring it's your sweet good. tooth apparently huh? yeah and share like maybe <laughs> share. one is enough to share yeah sounds good all right guys so we just finished visiting market i was gonna call it Market number three. It is our third market, it but is. it is called Market 28. Yeah. So let's talk about price point, prices. Price How much point. did we pay? So mine was, I think, 32 soles, so like eight bucks. Mm -hmm. My wine was 17. So I mean, uh, just under five dollars. The wine was a little bit pricier. Mm -hmm. And then the, I think your dishes were similar, no? Yeah, honestly, around the same price point. I think at all three markets, most dishes are like six to ten dollars yeah. like the priciest biggest plate yeah i mean you're getting a main like you're getting something yeah. that's gonna fill you up mm -hmm. so yeah i mean bring your appetite for sure yeah and um man what a great experience huh? it was so and like fun. this is something really new in lima specifically yeah. in the neighborhood of miraflores so if you're visiting this is probably the neighborhood you'll end up staying in it is very tourist friendly yeah. it's where most people book their accommodations and yeah the food markets were honestly a lot of fun so we would highly recommend them yeah. we hope you enjoyed this little tour of three different food markets yeah exactly so that is it for today Lots we love. are walking back yeah. And we'll see you very soon. More videos from Lima coming Ciao, up. Ciao guys. Ciao guys. Try not Ciao. to get one over here. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.